So hello, Ashley, and congratulations on being awarded the Luxury Business In-House Council of the Year uh, Marella Nayoliari Award. Um, fantastic achievement, and um, our firm, Trevisan and Quanso, are delighted to be able to give this award to you. Um, I just thought I'd quickly say why we've called it the uh, Marella Nayoliari Award. Uh, Marella was a fashion and luxury, luxury law lawyer who uh, worked at our firm. She trained at our firm for eight years and we were all very fond of her. She set up her own firm with her husband, Gino Capellini. So it was Nayoliari Cap uh, Scarpellini. Um, and last year in September, she passed away very suddenly, leaving her husband and three children. So the IP community and um, all her friends, everybody very shocked and she'll be very sadly missed. As I said, she was a big fan of um, this conference and uh, was involved as well uh, as a sponsor. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're delighted to be given the chance to, to call this award the My Marella Nayoliari Award. And uh, so fantastic to you for, for winning it. And uh, I've just got a couple of questions for you. Um, the first is, as the in-house counsel for uh, Charlotte Tilbury, what do you think has been the firm or your major achievement in this last year um, as general counsel? Oh, well, Pressy, thank you so much, Julia. Um, it's, it's a real honour to, to win not only this award, but to hear such lovely things about, about your colleague, Marella. I'm sorry if I pronounced it incorrectly, but um, I'm, that's a very, very um, heartening story and I'm very sorry and sad to hear what happened there. But um, as I say, I mean, thank you so much um, to the Luxury Law Awards, to, to yourself and your firm for this and the nomination and, and the award. I'm, Phenomenally uh, pleased and, and ecstatic about it. Um, and I think just, just jumping straight into to your question, um, it, it's a really interesting one because, you know, I think, um, I, I, you know, for many of us, just, just doing the day, day job at the moment and, you know, getting your business through these turbulent times in the current pandemic is, is a major achievement for, for many of us this year. Um, however, Coronavirus aside, um, without a doubt, I think for myself and my both for Charlotte Tilbury Beauty, um, my, my sort of biggest achievement this year has to be uh, running the legals on the majority acquisition of the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty business by Pooj. Um, I'm sure many people will already be aware and have seen in the press that, that Pooj acquired the majority share in the Charlotte Tilbury brand earlier this year. Um, it was certainly, it was quite a challenge proceeding with the sales process and lockdown. And um, keeping it going through to successful completion in June this year was, was no main feat. So we, um, we launched the sale process in January and then we managed it remotely until the deal completed. So it was, it was quite relentless at times. Uh, we were working very tirelessly with external legal advisors, bankers, various potential acquirers, um, all remotely. Uh, we held management presentations over Zoom, um, so it, it was <laughs> certainly a steep learning curve, I think, for everyone involved. But um, thanks to the, the phenomenal efforts of, of all the teams involved and, and working on the deal and both sides of the transaction, uh, we, we crossed the finish line. And um, yeah, it's something I'll, I'll, I'll never forget, and it's a, a period of my career that um, I will forever look back on. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> To, to do a deal anyway of that um, of that significance is 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 pretty powerful stuff. But, but to, to be doing it in COVID times, online uh, with all of that that, that involved, um, yeah, well done. Um, the second question I had is, what do you think? What do you think your the secret is of being um, an effective in-house counsel for a luxury business? Is there a magic formula that you can uh, that you can share with anybody watching? Uh, I wish there was, um, and I look, I think being an in-house GC, GC is is sort of challenging at any time, um, but you know never more so than than through the current pandemic. Um, a general counsel is forever you know endeavouring to sort of balance 
it's the enabling of the business, supporting it, whilst you know at the same time be, being the gatekeeper of the company and its compliance and managing those things alone can be very challenging. Um, having said that, I think for me personally, I think the key to success lies in our personal values and the relationships that we build within the business. And that's very much from the ground up. I think it's extremely important to, to lead by example, uh, to earn the trust, respect and loyalty from those around you. And in doing so, you know, you then become a very trusted and integral advisor to the business. So for me personally, I, I really enjoy getting to know as many people as I can in any organisation that, that I work in. So I always go out of my way to get to know everyone from the ground up. Um, I really do firmly believe that having the support of those around you is paramount to being able to do an effective and good job. Um, I think it not only means that those people then feel more comfortable approaching the legal team, particularly when you work in a commercial fast-paced business, um, but it also allows you to implement change and to roll out new policies and procedures with, with much greater ease and, and understanding. So, uh, so yes, in summary, relationships, relationships, relationships have always been my motto. Um, you know, and of course, you you have to stay true to your values. You know, leading by example, being approachable. They're they're, they're all, in my opinion, key elements to, to really being an effective in house general counsel. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much um, and congratulations again on the award and uh, myself and everybody at Trevisan and Kwanzaa are very proud to be able to give the award to you. So thank you. Thank you, Julia.